Hello and welcome to part 2 in my CNC router build. In part 1 I told you that part 2 would be me machining all the parts, but since part 1 and part 2 I've made a lot of changes to the design and I thought I'd make another video showing you. On the right you see the old design and on the left you see the new design. With the new design I've sacrificed about half of the height of the work area. And this was done to really increase the robustness of the router. As you can see, the spindle is moved way closer to where the bottom of the gantry is mounted to, like the bed. This is to decrease the amount of torque that the spindle will uh, put onto the gantry. I've also widened the bottom of the gantry on the new design. Looking from the front, it's very obvious how I've sacrificed the height of the work area to make it more robust. When I was happy with the design, I started working on all the hole patterns. I have to drill a million holes and it's very hard to measure where they should be placed accurately and therefore I'm making hole patterns with drawings from Fusion 360. Fusion has a built-in tool where you can easily convert a 3D object into a 2D drawing. I've basically taken all the plates and converted them into drawings. I note all the hole sizes on the drawings and I make little crosses through all the holes so I know where the exact center is. It took around two hours to make all the drawings. You save them as a PDF and then you can print them just on a normal printer. Since Fusion has handled all the dimensions, this will be 100% accurate and you can use it as a great template. I need to find a way to accurately align the piece of paper with the aluminum plate, but I think that's very easy compared to all the other challenges. All the templates are now printed and ready to be used which means I'm now ready to machine all the parts. Today is Wednesday and I'll be machining all the parts on Saturday. The next episode of this CNC router build will be really exciting. I'm going to be cutting a bunch of aluminum and I'll be drilling and tapping a million holes. I will make sure to film everything I will edit it really nicely and add some nice music to the background. You really have something to look forward to. So if you want to be notified when the video is uploaded, then please subscribe to my channel. This was all for now, so thank you very much for watching.